What up boys, it's Gaz, and welcome to the final Outriders video on the channel. You heard it right. I am basically done covering this game after we got the patch notes for the first patch to this game that's been out for about a week. So, let's get into it so we can get the heck out of here and get back to Warframe. Alright, so let's go over it. They were releasing a patch note today, uh, which is going to contain... A lot of nerfs, honestly. Like we went over, the, we made that video on the meta of the game yesterday, where it was like, well, bullet builds are basically the only thing that's viable at, at high end uh, content, and the damage ability builds aren't, they just don't stack up. And they understand that because they are nerfing the bullet damage builds with uh, no buffs to the ability damage builds at all. So here we are with uh, the god awful patch notes. Where, you know, they just are completely tone deaf and apparently don't even play the game because they're trying to make it where it's even harder to get the loot when a lot of people are complaining the game is already too hard. Uh, and like, I'm, or I'm like, I, I'm in tier 5, I'm in the highest level content and I still die all the time. So it's not like it was easy stuff. So let's go over this stuff. Um, there is a lot of stuff to the patch notes. Like they're basically making the game more stable where pe people were like having their inventories bleed and stuff. That did not happen to me. But no, if you are someone that's still going to be playing this game after these... Uh, one weekend giant nerfs. Uh, that if you got your inventory deleted for some reason, they might help you fix that. Um, all right, so let's go over the first changes. The historian bounty hunts and the monster hunts no longer grant a legendary item on each subsequent completion. Basically, what that means is there was an exploit where you get infinite legendaries, and that is not going to happen anymore. Um, it, you basically could get like twenty legendaries from like one bounty turn in. Uh, that's not going to happen anymore. You'll, you will still apparently get one for completing all those quests. But, um, yeah, that's what's happening. And if you were a person exploited, you will not be punished. So, I, I guess, good for you for exploiting. The certain uh, mini-boss enemies, the Tuka Beast, the Split Tooth, the Sand Shifter, and the Cold Claw are going to drop less loot because people were farming them for purples and blues. Uh, these particular beasts were too generous considering the effort to take them down. You know, nerf right there. So we got a bug fix. That, to be fair, this first, first historian uh, bounty fix thing is a fix. This is just a nerf for these enemies dropping loot. Uh, because, I mean, the way they designed this game is when you die, it auto loot. So, like, it seemed like a given that you would be doing farms like this. Especially with how they endorse the captain farm. If you've been paying attention to Outriders uh, content since the demo, people were farming this one enemy, like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times to see if he could drop legendaries. So, you know, it, it seems pretty blatantly obvious that this stuff would be happening. But here they are nerfing things. These types of farms will still exist, but these ones specifically for these from these enemies will not exist. All right, the Chem Plant Expedition, which we discussed on a video a couple days ago. Uh, basically, it's going to be more difficult to get the highest tier rewards there, uh, because it was one. Of the, it was probably the easiest expedition, honestly. Um, it now is going from 950 seconds for the fastest time to 650. So they're cutting off. A, like a lot of time so good luck getting the gold completion on there uh, it's honestly just not worth it guys the best expedition for doing this now is going to be Stargrave uh, that one's actually pretty fast still if you are going to still be playing this game um, Stargrave expedition is going to be your best one for getting easy gold um, the drought palace seems pretty easy too um, but yeah Stargrave is right here it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward so no defense objective or anything like that it's just basically kill 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 the enemies all right, so that one got nerfed. Hilariously, this is where I think they're super out of touch. Boomtown, <laughs> which is the one where you fight like a bunch of uh, human elite enemies and stuff. It's going from 422 seconds to 390. On tier 15, dude, good luck beating that in 390 seconds. Like, dang. If you can beat that in 390 seconds, you, you are a pro. You must have some really good gear, especially after these nerfs today. You must have really good gear to get that after this patch. Some expeditions seem too generous in the required completion times when compared to others. Isn't this hilarious? Like, I'm already afraid of talking about stuff that's good in this game. Not even a week in, because they're already nerfing stuff. Like, hilariously. This pushes meta builds even harder. Oh, you need to beat the mission in 390 seconds. Better get the most meta, ridiculous build you can possibly get. Oh, wait, you mean the things that just are nerfing now? Because the, uh, the toilet, uh, bullet rounds... Are all being nerfed. Twisted rounds, blighted rounds, and volcanic rounds are all getting nerfed. Uh, but let's finish off these a uh, couple nerfs before we get to that. The critical uh, damage rating on the tactical assault rifles reduced to 165, uh, which I mean I guess it makes sense because I think they all have 165 and this one had 175 for some reason. Um, and they're also reducing the critical multiplier on the marksman rifle to 250 was previously 300. So basically they're like, oh, it's, it's giving you more player choice, right? Yeah, of course it is, buddy. 
The ration of the Massacre AP buff has been reduced to three seconds. This was apparently part of an exploit where you have infinite damage. So, I, I mean, understand that if they're patching an exploit. But now we're getting to the actual crappy nerfs. And the reason why I think this game is in big trouble, honestly. If, if this is what we're getting one week in, this is what the devs are going to prioritize one week in. Keep in mind, these nerfs came out before the actual, like, inventory wiping bugs were fixed. They came out before the server fixes. Or I guess there's some server fixes already. It's before the matchmaking, the crossplay fixes. They prioritize this stuff. It was so important to them, they didn't fix crossplay, which was a uh, advertised feature that would be at launch. It's still not here. It's still not here. This is what they care more about. Because it's, I, I, technically it's a server-side change, but it's, it's really, it's the look this is giving off. There's no, oh, by the way, there's no buffs with any of these nerfs. Everything's a nerf, and there is zero, zero, I'm not even exaggerating, zero buffs here. When we were complaining, ability damage uh, builds suck. And a lot of the skill trees, honestly, suck too. And they're going to stay really crappy because all they're doing is nerfing skill trees, not buffing any skill trees. Now, technically, they could do this in the future, but the devs have said, don't, like, there's no promises that things will get buffed, which is hilarious to me. Let's go over this stuff here. So, um, the, the context was they say, basically, it's too easy to mod out a build with these uh, round-based attacks. So, yes, they, they're, they are going to be nerfing them. Now, keep in mind, when we, when we mentioned previously in a video where it's like, well, you can run this mod called Momenti Morum, which whenever you get a kill, it refills your magazine. That, they said that's intended. They want, they, that's what they actually designed this stuff around this mod, which will give you your magazine back when you get a kill when you're low magazine. So, keep in mind, that is intended. So they, they, they're nerfing the meta while also pushing the meta that they already thought of before the game came out. So let's just start with that. That's what this is basically saying. Um, that they know it's it's like that. So we're going to be going over three to four nerfs to the Trickster class, the one I'm playing. And the Technomancer is also getting a nerf as well. And they said Volcanic Rounds up here, but I actually didn't see any changes to Volcanic Rounds specifically. Um, so the base cooldown on Twisted Rounds, the Trickster ability, is going to 25 seconds. It was previously 16. You can definitely notice it being a lot slower if you, for some reason, uh, don't get a kill in time, get your magazine back with uh, Memento Morum, which is extreme, or Perpetual Mobile, which is extremely pushed now. You have to have it, basically. Um, you'll, you'll be sitting there waiting for your ability to come back forever. You might just die by the time it comes back. Well, Infinite Uptime on Bullets abilities was always our intention. It's intended to be high-risk, high-reward place to hover. Given the current power of the skill, there is very little risk involved in this ability in the short term. Given its short cooldown, even when players fail to trigger the animal replenishment, increasing its cooldown is in combination with adjusting its damage should increase the risk and make this playstyle a more thrilling experience. No, I'm just basically feeling like you guys are out of touch and are clinging. You're very, you're clinging to the tier 15. Oh no, it's too easy for you. Our, our, our $60 PVE only game with no leaderboards, no competitive clans, no nothing. Oh, no, 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 that's ours. No, you have to work harder for it. You have to work harder for it. You're not trying hard enough. That's what this looks like to me. And it's not even like they're nerfing the damage over. They're nerfing the cooldown to make it just more annoying. Moving on to the Trickster. Uh, another, so here's the multiple nerfs to the Trickster. Disruptive Firepower, Scion of Power, Outrider Execution have all had their, their damage reduced. Let's show what that means. The Trickster basically just got completely dumped on uh, this, this balance pass. So... Some of these skill trees are getting mega nerfed. So I think it's this one. No, not that one. Um, it might be that one, actually. One of, the, one of these is getting nerfed. So I think it's Scion of Power. This is going to 35%. So when you leave your... Uh, when, you, when your damage ability ends, you lose more damage. 15% loss there. Um, this is getting lost as well. And I guess this one, too. Yeah, so these three skills right here have all been nerfed by 15%. Uh... You know, add those all together. It's a huge chunk of damage you've lost. Um, I wasn't even using those hilariously, but um, I was using them previously in a different setup. So those all got nerfed. The Trickster got really, really nerfed. Um, and a combination of Twisted Rounds increased the firepower of the top multipliers. Yeah, yeah. It got nerfed a lot, basically. So good luck with that. Oh, and here's a blanket nerf. You know how we were talking about how status effects weren't strong enough yesterday? A blanket nerf to the vulnerable status effect. Uh, reduced a 15% damage increase. It was previously 25. So that's not just a nerf to Trickster and Technomancer. That's a nerf to every class. Because any class that's hitting a vulner uh, vulnerable target is going to have 20, uh, 10% less damage than they did before. So a blanket nerf to everybody, just because, you know, we're clinging some more. We're clinging really hard to that tier 15 that the Trickster can still cheese. Oh, did I say too much? Oh, you're going to nerf that now too? The Technomancer... Uh, 
tree node against poison has its power reduced to 15. So that got cut in half. Oh, did I forget to mention there's actually stealth nerfs too? This was not in the patch notes. Blighted Rounds uh, mod critical analysis was nerfed from 30% to 15%. Not in the patch notes. I reached out to the devs to see if they had any comment on it. They have not made comment on it yet. They were they might have not been aware of this, to be honest. Um, so the Technomancer got a big, big nerf, 15%, like basically cutting the damage in half of that ability. And then also the, the Pyromancer's Hero Tree Node Trials of Ash has been reduced. It's basically been cut in half as well. I do not... Look at how many downvotes this thing has. Oh my god. They have cut the damage in half of the Pyromancer ability and a Technomancer ability and given three... No, four nerfs to the, to the Trickster. The only class I have. I spent like, what? How many hours do I have in Outriders right now? Like, honestly, I'm, I'm curious. Holy crap. I have nearly 40 hours in Outriders. A lot of that might have been AFK. But like, that's just 40 hours down the toilet, basically. I can't replace that damage with anything because it's just been cut off. There's no replacement there. 50% there, 50% there, 50% there. Longer cooldown. And it, my build's exactly the same. So I'm just doing worse overall. And as you can see, people are not happy about this. I really don't like this. Massive nerf to the pyro. You need to rebalance enemies too. I refuse to run it anymore because of this. Like, look at all this stuff. As a Devastator, it's difficult enough to do expeditions. I'm expecting a buff, but maybe a nerf instead. Like... Maybe Devastators won't be kicked out of parties as quickly. So they nerf everything, and people are like, oh, Devastator looks better now. Th just because it looks better compared to everything that got nerfed is not a good thing, guys. It's not. And I am basically done covering this game after this change. If this is where the devs think they're prioritizing and stuff, I'm done. I'm actually done. We're going back to Warframe, and I might make, like, one or two Outriders videos ever again, but I, I, feel, I feel really, like, cheated. This is a $60 game. With no competitive leaderboards, no nothing, like, really. It, it's, it's, this is all you've got. And all this game has is just kill enemies. There, there's, there's nothing crazy going on here. You're, the, uh, the end game missions are kill enemies. Uh, you know, defend an objective maybe here or there. And the objective is the same on every single map. And then you're just deleting blues. Buy and let, buy and like legendaries. You can make it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's things that this game does right. But the fact that these devs are prioritizing these nerfs makes me not have any hope for the future at all. And especially when they said they were like, uh, we didn't say there was going to be any buffs, okay? Because I was like trying to like be hopeful a little bit. I'm like, I'm in the, the Discord server for the Outriders, and I'm like, oh, they, they might buff stuff. And they're like, we didn't say that. We never said that. We know just as much as you are. So, yeah. Um, don't expect any more Outriders videos on the channel. Not like they were doing very well on the channel anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, looking how dumb this, this change was actually makes me have some newfound appreciation for uh, the Warframe does hilariously, isn't that hilarious? Because like, I mean, there's lots of things about this game that suck. Like the movement feels like trash. Um, the guns, like the gun sound effects, are terrible. Um, and like, there's honestly a lot of stuff. And like, like I said, they're not even buffing the skill. What they could do to make this not as bad is maybe buff some of these skill trees. Like, what does this one do? Increase. You get a shield when you use your deception ability. Wow, that's gonna really be viable when the the end game missions are speed clear based. Yeah, let me just get some shield for casting my abilities. What's this do? Increases your damage mitigation by your shield. When would this ever be good? What, because you're going to be rezzing your teammates? This middle tree is the most worthless thing ever. Increased health. Increased shield. What? Why is this even here? You can remove this middle tree and no one would even blink twice. The bottom one at least gives you extra damage for each, each enemy in close range. Your uh, ability power is increased by 10%. Hey, you know what? The trickster damage abilities are te terrible, but at least it doesn't just give me shield and health. What is shield and health going to do against the enemies I'm trying to kill? That I have to kill quickly because that's the way you design the freaking game. What's that going to do? Just cut out middle tree. No one's using middle tree. No one is using middle tree. If you are using middle tree for some reason on trickster, first off, you suck. Uh, and But let me know in the comments down below why you use middle tree. Because it does not do anything. All right, guys, that's basically it for the last Outriders video on the channel. Uh, it's too bad they had to go out this way. I really do feel like this is killing the game, as you can see from the hundreds and hundreds of downvotes and the 5,000-ish negative comments on that, that Reddit post. I mean, it's I, it's over. It's over. It was fun while it lasted. I'm, I am I feel really, really burnt. I, I was like actually thinking, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make one of each class. I'm going to get the, the round ability. I'm going to actually get like a geared-out character for each class. No. I'm done. I'm not thinking about this game anymore, and it's over. All right, guys. Take it easy. Peace.